Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Distant Star Remnant Fleet. Let's continue. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm gonna go back to our sector of uh, pirates. We're in the front lines. We're gonna continue where we left off. Uh, we're about to enter the, um, or how I uh, envision it or see it as the second part of this sector in the front lines. Um, I guess it would be kind of wise to route our, uh, or plan our route basically to see if we need to hit these spots after a delay or quickly. So let's just see what's going on. These I don't think these are shops. Your map is marked with a logistics reference code for this system, but no further details. Okay. Star chart for an earlier defensive indicates there is an allied production facility at these coordinates. All right, so. We should probably go blip 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 blip. Alright. You get me. You get what I'm saying. Oh! Your fleet arrives over Celebar. Down below, the planet is a huge brown orb. Cracked and fissured, its molten core stilled, its surface ravaged by corrosive desert storms. The vast rings that arc around the planet dominate the system and are quite breathtakingly beautiful. But among them, you soon discover a fiery cloud of vented plasma and destroyed ships. A short and nasty engagement has taken place here. There are no obvious survivors, but there is some salvage. So we get spider missiles, three holy balls, and then we get three supplies as well. So let's uh, apply the spider missiles to the one and only. And Dreadnought. I mean, the Dreadnought is the only one who can take these missiles, so take it. Enjoy them. Oh my goodness. Strike missiles. Spider missiles 3. Oh, yes. 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 Let's go here. Here? Here. You receive a priority message from High Command. Ugh, High Command. Warrior! The damage Akari ship at your current location is transporting without any prisoners. They are under attack and require an escort to our station. Um. High Command. I'm not. We're gonna. We're gonna hail him. We're gonna tell him to get away. Warn the attack ships to stand down. The Othani ignore your warning and close in on their prey. Oh my god. Uh, we're gonna escort them. Sadly, we're gonna agree to escort them. Um, who are we escorting? Oh, here you are. I'm like, wait, who are we even escorting right now? Let's go. Let's go, useless dreadnought. Oh, you're not totally useless. Oh, look at you! You have weapons and stuff. Wow, is that did that come with an update? Because uh, these escort missions, usually the dude doesn't have anything at him. It's pretty sad that we have a Dreadnought escorting another Dreadnought. <laughs> it's slower pace too. What are you doing exactly? I don't understand. You're doing this? Oh. Enemies. Enemies. A ton of enemies. Okay. Um, stand over here. Oh my god. Can you please explain to me how your torpedo is a much, much larger radius than my torpedo? This is totally unfair. Plus, I'm just gonna wait and see what happens here. So let's uh, make everybody a little better. Faster attacking. Um, shields are a little endangered here. Um, Oh my god! Wow! This is perhaps the easiest escort mission ever. Because this guy is actually... He has guns. He's helping out. Like, massively. Did you see that explosion? That was insane. Oh 
I'm loving this. So far, so good. We're also pretty close to the, um, what do you call this? Is this a shipyard or whatever it is? I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a second wave. Maybe even a third wave. But the fact that we started here and the thing is over here and not over here is a relief. Yeah, you keep doing that. Here's a second wave. Alright. Let's um, wait until we see what they do exactly. Alright, they are positioned in there. Uh, good enough for me. Wow. <laughs> He's dropping another torpedo in there. Uh, let me join you. Let me join you. Wow, my torpedo went faster. Oh my god. This is lovely. This is great. This, it's done. We won. <laughs> I love it. Too good. Too good. Your reputation among friends and enemies both will grow after this. Firing computer level 2. This is for cannon type weapons. Okay. Um, obviously, we're going to give this to the gunship, right? It's going to be a second one, too. 11%, 10%, it's gonna be 21% extra damage. And then, on top of that, add another 60%. So you're looking at 81% extra damage. For like a puny little cannon, which kinda sucks. I'd much rather put this on something that's gonna be a little more effective, but I don't think that's really gonna happen. Everybody's ready. Everybody's good to go, because you don't even have cannon weapons, and you only have one cannon weapon. So if, if anybody's gonna benefit from one, Weapon getting stronger, I might as well just put it on the one that is really lacking in a damage department. Hopefully we can upgrade this cannon actually. All of these cannons and missiles. Everything's level one. I'm really surprised that I haven't come across any sort of viable shops where I can buy much better attachments. This is a little shameful. But we're not doing badly. Even with the most basic of the weapons, we're still doing pretty awesome. It's down there. Danger level's going up, which means we're going to be facing stronger enemies and maybe even more enemies. Enemy forces attacking two Akari tech carriers. Allied ships hail you as you jump into the system. What are you? Thank the Ark. These honorless Orthani ambushed us on our way to a colony repair. They've snatched our best technician, Biskin. That woman is genius, believe me. And she looks beautiful. We don't want her working for the enemy. Can you break off your attack, please? The enemy ignores your warning and intensifies their fire. Oh, God. All right. Intensification is happening, which means we're moving in. Oh, no, it's one of these missions again. Shit. Can you guys move closer to each other or me? Why are you separated like that? I don't understand. You two. Get over there. You two. We're gonna go down here. This is gonna suck. I, just, I hope I don't lose any of my own ships. Because that would really piss me off. If I lost everybody. Well, that guy's gonna get a massive laser to the face. Oof. Massive. Indeed. We're so far away. Oh god. This is very much suboptimal. Uh, we're gonna increase his attack rate. Forget that. Tossing a torpedo in first. And then doing that. Uh, you buddy, where are you? Okay. You're just gonna... I don't even know what you're gonna do. You're gonna focus a little bit. On this shielded dude. So I know the torpedo's not gonna take everything out. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. 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 
I regret it. I regret helping you. I really do. Oh my god. Stop getting hurt. Wait, not you. Wait, where are you guys? You're still there. Okay, fine. Shit. It's pretty awful. Tag this guy. Oh no. Do, don't get disabled, please don't get disabled. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get in there. Defend him. Oh fuck. Our dreadnought's going down. It's like, GG. Maybe not. Maybe not GG. Not yet. Scariest one is a Lancer over there. Oh no 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 no! My dreadnought's gonna die. My dead dreadnought, you're not gonna die. I'm gonna save you, Dreddy. I'm gonna save you. Oh, shit, I can't save you. You're dead. Goodbye. Everybody's going after him. Fuck. Well, it's one disabled ship. You know what? Screw those guys. I don't want him to get disabled. We're moving in. We're moving in. But he's gonna die. <laughs> There's no way that he can survive on 200. Yeah, these guys are getting so close. Shit. 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 How did this ever happen? No! Why did you do that? Oh, you're dead. That's it. You get disabled. Where are you, buddy? This is very, very upsetting. Yeah, fend for yourself. It's all that lance, and I had to throw my dreadnought in front of the lance because this guy was definitely gonna die if he was shot by the lance. There's no question asked about that. He was gonna die. Oh, great. A million enemies here, and then five more million over here, right? Sure. We'll do that. Um. Pretty suboptimal. We're gonna toss in this. We're gonna toss this in as well. <laughs> Alright. Well, that part of the mission is done. This is all because of the danger level, guys. This is all basically due to the insane danger level. Oh my god, duh. Can you not? Oh, there's nowhere, nowhere for you to go. We're too close to that structure. Great. 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 You're also dead. I don't care about you. I'm glad you're dead. You ended up costing me a, probably a critical damage on my dreadnought. What a mess. 
Or maybe they int the whole intensifying the fire on, like, through my choices, maybe that made this fight much more difficult than it needed to be. Oh, not in the fire. That's fine. And I think that is the case. I think that this mission got a little more difficult because um, of our choices and the fact that it said, oh, they're intensifying their fire. Fuck me. Okay, you get what? I don't care about that. That's okay, actually. This is the best that could happen right now. Well, you leveled up. That's great. With both tech ships and all the enemy ships destroyed, there is no real way to follow up on Miskin's disappearance. After notifying High Command of the situation, you decide a kidnapped technician is a problem that can wait. The Airbus platform can't. Fleet browser. Oh. All right. You. 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 Max shield. Thank you. Jumped away. Operation Teriok, a recent push by Akari Expeditionary Forces into occupied space, has left behind a number of these pop up uh, prefabricated supply depots. Most are empty now, but some are manned by riffraff, wheeling and dealing in and out of date. Wheeling and dealing in. Out of date supplies don't really belong to them. We're gonna barter for supplies. Um. This is hardly worth it. We're only saving 500 basically, but you know what? I need it. Yes, we always need it. All right. Hopefully something better is going to happen here. Allied landings in a sector were supported by several robotic manufacturers, one of which has survived in the system. Most have been decommissioned long ago. But this facility still responds to the Akari security overrides as your fleet approaches. Amazingly, the automatic quartermaster powers on and hails you. Oh, yes. This is, this is kind of what I was looking for. What is, what is this for? Carrier ships. Mine launcher. Ooh. Pretty interesting. Alright, what can I get? Siege missiles. Slow firing with powerful missiles that do heavy area-based damage. Hmm. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. What is uh? What are the differences here? So the damage on this guy is uh, every seven seconds almost. We get two missiles, almost four hundred. So almost eight hundred damage. Short. Seven seconds. All right. Definitely better than these. Okay, well, let's keep that in mind. Reaver mode is for the assault ship. I know that. I don't. I don't need it. Um, this is not really entirely needed as what well either. Um. And this is the same one that we had before, right? Yes. So nothing entirely new here. Except for these siege missiles. And I don't mind putting these siege missiles on him because he gets... Rate of fire increase and damage increase as well as another rate of fire increase. So... Yes, please install... 
Then again, this guy gets stronger missiles. Maybe he deserves the upgrade. I don't know if I should put everything good on my dreadnought or not. You know what? Yeah, I want to. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. Done. Hmm. We're done. I think there's nothing else that we can do here. Alright, we're leaving. I just want to get to the end of this sector alive. Um, so, two more spots to check out. Oh, this is scary. Enemy forces are making steady inroads here and Akari lines look ragged. If you do not come to their aid, then the Orthani presence in this sector will become impossible to fight back. Oh shit. Um, I can deceive them into a retreat. I can order the fleet to attack hold the line. Let's deceive them into retreating. Let's see if that works at all. Your bridge officer suggests two different options. Oh god. Fake an ident broadcast which suggests three more Akari fleets are unbound. Or create a counterfeit order from the war council on Orthani instructing them to pull back. I think fake ident would be good. Your officers do their best, but they do not have enough time to... <laughs> of course not. We're never, nothing ever goes your way. To create a convincing broadcast, your Orthani switch their targeting systems to me. Oh god, we have to... We have to do this again? Oh, this is bullshit. Oh, this is such bullshit. This is the kind of bullshit I was not expecting. Alright, well, I guess our dreadnought's gonna die again, right? So. If things don't work out, I'm just gonna escape. Can I actually send people to one and then the other? Would that be a good, good strategy? Let's try that. I don't think I'm, I have. Oh, man. Yeah, let's just send everyone here. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh, my god. My ships aren't even there yet! Dudes, relax! This is crazy. This is crazy! This thing is dead before I even got there. Are you serious? This is a little crazy. Alright, stop what you're doing. Wow. He did not just do that. Did you see what happened with him? That was crazy. All right. I get that guy. We gotta quickly kill everything. I don't even know if there's any hope. There isn't. So he died. Crazy. Ugh. 
Six seconds to get his shield back. Is that ever gonna happen? I don't think so. I think he's gonna die before any of that happens. Shit. Wow. <laughs> no comment. No comment. The fact that he. No comment. No, I can't. No comment. It's bullshit. That I'm, my ships didn't even have time to get there before that thing literally blew up. I'm not gonna get a reward anyway. What's the fucking point? Wow, I got one supply. Though you could only save one of the weapons platforms, you've done a lot to bolster the Akari war effort here today. Blah, 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 blah. The cargo ship moving through the system is desperately in need of your help and only your help. And if you refuse this, then it's mission failure. Fire warning shots that are never going to... Oh god. Oh no, I made the stupid mistake again. I should not have clicked on fire warning shots. Protect the vessel. I feel like my decisions hardly make a difference anymore. Um, Jesus. Yeah, throw that in there. Uh, all of you guys move away. Wow, they chased. They chased me. Fine. And they're dealing a lot of damage. That's insane. All right. Let's return the favor. Or the damage. I just want them to stop moving so I can actually throw in my weapons. And deal damage to them. If I ever could. Move. Alright. Throw this in here. Throw this in here. Well, it did matter a little bit. Okay. Move it! Jesus. Dealing with children here. Okay. A little space escort mission. Okay. Are you gonna get stuck there? Are you gonna do you not have radar? Why are you going straight there? I would I would go come this way. So I can <sighs> Yep, take your time to make your tracing turn around the structure that was totally unnecessary to do. Oh man, now you're gonna go inside that dip and then come out again? Are you serious? <laughs> And you know they're gonna come from behind me, it's like, what always ha- oh, what did I say? What I fucking called it. Fucking called it. Please attack things quickly. That guy, get that guy. Oh great. 
Who are you gonna fire that at? Oh, it's just a storm. Okay. Engine on, please. Press forward. This could not be closer, yet further away from us. We're gonna be facing like two more waves, probably. At least. If not a third one activates here. I'm a little salty. I'm a little upset. There we go. Didn't move like an inch, and then we have to face more ships. Or just this one guy? What? That's just silly. Just like a stop for no reason. This one simple ship. Okay. Yeah, my Dreadnought doesn't use energy for anything right now. I don't even care about that little um, critical damage on it that reduces its energy. Okay. <laughs> my guy is basically just don't even know what to do anymore. This guy's going so slow. You're skidding around. What is... What? Why are you guys sliding? And why did you slide that one time? You made that station die. Instead of ending up in front of it to protect it, you dumbass. Who we'll called you Dreadnought? Should call you dumbass. Four hundred years later, we're still going. Watch as like five enemy dreadnoughts appear in front of me right now, and they all target this guy, who has what? 3,000 hall. Man, I sound so bitter in this episode. very surprised. This was a small victory in the endless conflict, but one that means a lot to my crew. Alright. Jumping away. I think we're out of the system, right? Yep, we are. Exit, please. Alright, let's see what we see in front of us. Um, our only option is an Akari control sector, which means a lot of defending places, which is fine. It's totally fine. Let's go in it, see what it looks like. And our space market rubies, welcome you to the Jump. Alright, let's see what we Can't believe it costs us like three supplies to leave a system. This is insane. It's too much. A lot of specific locations here. Well, let's see what's going on, really. Pairing ships, alright, like that. Uh, trade agreements, blah blah blah. Uh, supply station. Supply center. Jesus. Really? Repair station? It's like repairs and supplies. It's just all plenty here. Um, I'm, I kind of want to go to the system first. I don't even know exactly where to go. Maybe the best option would be to go down here and then go back up 
And then come over here. Or maybe over here. Go all the way up. Go over here. Calm down. Go right. Go up. Forget about this spot. Forget about that spot. Go over here and out. I think that's going to be the route. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. It was a little frustrating for me. I hope it was fun for you guys. If you did like it, and if you enjoyed watching it, please click on that thumbs up button and like it. Subscribe to my channel to help me grow and support me and see future videos. Thank you for your time and attention. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.